metal mask with gasoline They after him last scene Pull a chick like a fiend, pull a fast one Can't put shit past him Got niggas on his own team Bad enough to blast him Retarded in real life on the mic Rain Man Stand close to his main man like a chain gang Who give a fuck about who or they fancy crew That's no mystery Like Hardy Boys do with Nancy Drew Sort of with her drawers down quarter The ex-daughter brings slaughter like well I order I suggest you hand over the formula doula A villain in your land, in his land a ruler Hard hitting like Huffin' the ruler with Lieutenant Uhura Every day feel like it's an off day with Ferris Bueller Brother pull heat to prove they not sweet No matter how you spell it, we still got beef to check the question how we live, question what we give Take it to the next, leave them where they can't see me Still they judge, but they be butt ass What's that what way? Up, like a Welcome to another Keep episode simple, of Maximilian Must Know This is the key collection um, And this is the collection part 14 um, You know, I never thought I'd be at this many fragrances This is fragrances 325 to 350 So, um I'm going to get right into it. You know what this is. I do 25 to show you my collection each time I get into 25. Now, I'm sure there are going to be some people in this one that say, Ah, oh, Max, that's not fair. You cheated. Because a perfumer sent me nine 15 ml bottles of his fragrances. And if they were in little sample bottles, uh, I wouldn't count them. But because they're in his own bottles and he put stickers on them, I do count them as, as bottles. 15 ml is a healthy size. Uh, enough juice for someone like me, certainly of any scent, to be honest with you. Um, and uh, so I'm going to count them like I would any other fragrances. So let's just get right into those first. Um, you guys might have seen that I did a video on Tobacco 1812 a couple, about a month ago, or maybe more than a month ago. And it was received really well, and I reached out to the Perfume, Michael Moore Props, and I was just sort of like, man, I love your fragrances, can I get some samples? Um... Of, of more he was really gracious he sent me nine um, of these 15 ml ones one was up tobacco 1812 so I gave that to a friend who was thinking about getting the fragrance hopefully that'll push him to and he sent me so nine of the 15 mls and then two full 60 ml bottles so got a lot to say about this brand if you haven't already seen I'm doing a video on these fragrances that he sent me uh, so if you haven't seen that that will be up in good time so let's start out with the ones he gave me first the eight and the 15 ml bottles this one is called uh, Vintage Leather, so one I'm really looking forward to trying. Uh, this one is called Vinito de Santos, or Vanilla de Santos Vanilla. This one is called Vetiver X, another one really anxious to try. This one is Eau de Parfum. The other two are Eau de Toilette. This one is called Smoky Fig. This was one I was planning on ordering, and I'm uh, really happy he gave me a bottle of this one. And these are really nice bottles, as you could tell, really nice labels, too. This one is Ver Vetiver, so I'd imagine this is a very green uh, Vetiver. Not really sure about Vetiver X, but um, which is the next one, I think. Oh, no, I showed you Vetiver X already. Okay, so the next one is Old Bourbon, another one I've been really anxious to try from the house. And the last two are Eau de Parfums from him. These are his newest scents. I believe they're all natural. The first one is called Grit and Poise, and the second one is called Lone Wolf. So I think Alan from um, Hangover would really like that one. And then the two 30, uh, 60 ml bottles he sent me, one is called Vintage Patchouli, uh, and I really like this one, but I like the other one a lot more. This is from his uh, Societe de Centaur uh, line, and this one is called OTU, and this is almost a perfect facsimile of Frederick Ma's French Lover. Um, so... If you like that fragrance, the same way you could get Tobacco Vigny for $30, basically, you can get French Lover for basically $32 with OTU. So thank you, Michael. Um, I'm not only going to do a video on these, I'm going to be a, a long-time uh, uh, customer of your house. I can promise you that. There's more bottles coming from me from uh, West Third Man. So let's finish up with this whole, sorry if it feels a little cheap, but that's what it is. Um, when you get to 350 bottles, you do so by hook or crook. By the way, I'm not really at 350. I'm at 367 right now. So we're close to doing the next video. Uh, next up, one called Versace Man. Guys, I've been trying to get my hands on this forever at a fair price because I believe it's been discontinued. Or if not, it's unbelievably difficult to find. Um, I don't like Eau Fraiche personally. I do own it. 
Um, I like this one a lot better. This is a tobacco scent. So Versace, man, if you guys want a video review on that, let me know and I might do it. This is my second from this house. I really enjoyed the first one and these are so cheap. Testers of this are so cheap on eBay. There's no reason why you shouldn't run out and get yourself one of these as well. You're not gonna find niche scents for this price every day. This is serious number 14. Um, and I own 11. 11 is a great scent. Uh, 14, I got to spend some more time with. Not sure how I feel about Sirius 14. Yeah, let me just tell you, I wish that these did come with caps because these are gorgeous bottles too. Very heavy glass, um, great sprayer. Really enjoy the um, presentation from Sirius. Next one, I am on a mission to get all the fragrances I wore in grammar school, high school, and college. This was one I wore a little bit in the eighth grade because my buddy wore it. This is Dracar Noir. I've been waiting a long time to add this to my collection. It, it does smell different than when I used to use it. It's nowhere near as strong, which might be good. Um, but I was at TJ Maxx. There was nothing out there. And this has been on my list forever. So I was like, fuck it. Let me just grab Dracar. This one was in the um, clearance bin. And I wasn't going to get this unless I saw it there. And I saw it there for $5. And I was like, you know what? Steven Redolescence really likes this one, so I'm gonna give this a try. This was five bucks. This is Adam Levine, and it's a great five dollar fragrance. It's a passion fruit and sort of mangoey thing, really juicy, really fresh. Excellent, excellent fragrance uh, for that sort of price. I would probably pay fifteen or twenty for it. That, that's how much I like it. Uh, next one, one you guys have seen me do a review on. Can't, in my opinion, have a great niche collection without this one. This one is finally starting to get some real serious burning Freycom. This is Cormondel by Chanel. Love this juice. Patchouli, frankincense, and white chocolate. But as my, my homie Eric would say, Eric Hill, done. Um, this one is in running for worst fragrance purchase in 2014. I mentioned this in a quick take video I did. This is True Religion Drifter. and. What a shitty fragrance. Doesn't smell bad, just boring. Now, I also mentioned, you guys, that I've been stalking the women's department at TJ Maxx and Marshalls looking for fragrances from houses that really don't have men's fragrances or fragrances that I never see discounted at TJ Maxx. And I saw this one. It was 12 bucks. I was like, fuck it. I think there needs to be more tea notes and fragrances. So I grabbed Elizabeth Arden Green Tea Bamboo. Nothing on this on Fragrantica. Uh, very feminine, but really nice. I, I can smell the granny tea, and it's just a really light and nice citrus scent. Definitely could see putting this in the fridge come summertime and refreshing with this. It's not a bad fragrance at all. Much better than True Religions. Green, Elizabeth Arden Green Tea Bamboo. Uh, next up, I needed one from this house, uh, and this is the one it turned out to be. I'm not a fan of uh, For the Brave. Um, or plus or the one that comes in like the screen spray bottle so i i also don't love fuel for life regular it does make me feel a little bit nauseous too so i got fuel for life spirit um it, it's sort of a one million set not not great not bad either but i did need one from diesel in the collection uh this one i got because i'm getting into fragrances from the perfume mark buxton I uh, really like Comme des Garçons to Man. I'm interested in exploring his own line. So when I saw what he is work and I saw this one was like $10, uh, I said, how can I not get a Mark Buxton fragrance for $10? Uh, this one is called Taxi by a French house called Coffin Looks. And um, it's okay. It smells a lot like Jacar Noir. It's probably very early Mark Buxton. It's, it's certainly nothing to write home about, but I think it's an interesting fragrance. I wanted one from the house. I wanted one from Buxton. I'm going to get Comme de Garçon Man too soon, um, but uh, decided to get this one. Uh, this one, if you haven't seen the review, uh, it's coming. Um, great fall fragrance. You know, Definitely top in the fall genre, I would say. Sort of smells like a, a cross between Amber Nargi and Cherge. This is Sushi Imperial by Boys1920. Excellent fragrance. Uh, again, if you haven't seen the review, it's coming. This is one my buddy Greggy Boy talked me into. Uh, not as good as Tuscan Leather, but will, I will not buy Tuscan Leather because I now have this. This is Purom by La Yukawam, so nice one. Uh, we got four left. Okay, this one I've talked about on a quick take. Knocked me over in terms of, wow, this is really good for what it costs. This is VIP by Usher. Um, you know, nothing special, but for what it is. Uh, here's another one I got in the women's uh, section because it got some good reviews and I uh, don't have one from the house. 
This is David Yerman's Exotic Essence. Um, I, I don't really know how I feel about this one yet. I, I don't love it, uh, but I don't dislike it. So I'm going to reserve judgment for another day on Yerman's Exotic Essence. And then the last two, uh, this one I got because I was looking for another fragrance from this house. Um, and this one gets compared to Angel Men a lot. Believe me, I do not have the, unbelievably, I don't have the original Angel Men, although it is on my list. I'd like to get it in the, the metal or gold flask when I get around to it. But this is Cuba Prestige by Cuba Paris, $10. And I'll tell you guys, to my nose, it smells very, very close to, to Angel Men. And then finally, uh, one that is slept on, I believe White Spirit Beer, White Spirit Bear Chad also added this to into his collection uh, based on a recommendation by Jeremy Fragrance. This is called Carolina Herrera CH Man. Really nice, not going to knock you out in terms of quality, but it is sort of a leather fragrance with sugarcane though. So it's very different and I can see really enjoying this when it gets cold out. So that is it guys, those are fragrances 325 to 350. I think we'll probably get to video 350 to 375 around October, maybe early November, and we'll see if I get to 400 by the end of this year. I think it's very possible at this rate. And then will I slow down? Who knows, I have to move soon. I'm not gonna have the same income. I have, no, I'm not gonna have the same income. I'm just gonna have to break it up a little bit differently. So I don't think I'll be doing hauls like these, but of course, man, I'm a collector and I'm, I'm just always gonna collect fragrances. I can't see not doing it. And my ultimate quest, as you guys know, may be insane, may be totally not doable, but it's to have at least one fragrance from every house represented that's out there. And I'm working on it slowly but surely. Hope you enjoyed this. Be back soon with another review. My name is Maximilian. I must know. Oh, and if you want to see any of these reviewed, if you have like a deep longing to see one review that, that I'm not going to get to because it's not niche, uh, let me know. And, and if enough of you do want it, I'll, I'll try to get around to it. All right? Peace out. Like candle, like my hand, I write these rhymes till I'm burnt out. Most is from experience, shit that I learned about. Topics and views generally concerned about. With different ways to call up and earn clout. I take a look at my life and pace the trails from top bleak and savage females with fake nails to face veils. You out your frame but still bagging them too. You know I know these hoes be asking me if I'm you. Like my twin brother, we did everything together from hundred ricots and lots to cop and butter leathers. Remember when you went and got the dark blue ballies? I had all the different color cazals and cazalis. The sub rock three finger ring with the ruby and the old.